Hello everybody and welcome back to another Friday night edition of Tyler's Sports Cards. Coming to you today on the channel for the first time in quite some time, we have some product on release day. We have 2021 Don Russ baseball cards. I've never actually opened Don Russ before. This will be the first time I have opened it ever. Um, usually Panini products aren't for me. I've always been sort of a, you know, traditionalist where I don't like the unlicensed product, as many people who collect baseball cards are. But when I opened Chronicles last year, it was actually one of my favorite sets of the year, if not my most favorite. So I said, you know what? You know what? As I got to realize, especially because I really collect, the feature value doesn't mean a super ton to me. Obviously, I'd rather have cards with more value or not, but is what it is. I, I learned that I, the unlicensed products, I don't mind them at all. Um, it's a lot of the pictures, it's even tough to tell they're unlicensed. Panini has some really cool designs. You're getting three hits for an okay price. Um, obviously, Don Russ used to be a lot less. I got this for $130, which isn't bad. They're on the 135 on Panini's website, so my LCS always does really good with their prices. But, I mean, you get 196 cards and three hits for $130, which I think is okay in the current market. Um, I mean, you look at Top Series 1, that's kind of what hobby boxes are going for, and you might only get a relic. Obviously, you know, future value with the logos and everything. But as far as I can say, Don Russ, not too different other than that just perceived value because of what people value at. So let's get into it. There's so many parallels in here. I might not know all the names because it's my first time ever opening Don Russ. I've watched a handful of videos uh, earlier, and it just seems like there's numbered parallels in literally every pack, unlike Tops where... I opened a hobby box and I literally only got two numbered cards, one gold and one green shimmer the entire time. So that's what really turned me on to it too. Just a lot of stuff. Maybe it's, you know, not printed as much. I figured, you know, I was only going to go with retail, but then I watched a bunch of videos early and I was like, you know what? I went down to my LCS after work and I picked up a hobby box if they were at a good price and they were. So let's get into it and let's check out this Donruss design. Hopefully Panini Packs always give me a trouble. That was nice and easy. And let's take a look. Design kind of looks like Series 1. Not much of a difference. Uh, fairly good card stock for Donruss, but yeah, um, nothing too special, but I like it. Not bad at all. It's kind of what it's expected. Brian Reynolds, Josh Bell, Trevor Bauer. So we got these 1987 uh, as a part of the set. Uh, you know, as you know, 1987's got the black borders usually. They did the white borders here, which I don't mind, but it, it looks really bland. We got Evan White, so we'll make a rookie card pile. We got Butane. Apparently, this is a uh, nickname insert. Didn't know that was Walker Bueller's nickname. Ooh, nice. We got a uh, a red Diamond King Juan Soto out of 2021. Is that card number 87 of 2021? Pretty sweet there. And David Fletcher Blue Hollow. So those blue hollows are going to be at the end of every single pack. Oh my gosh, me and Panini packs, never friends. Oops, looks like we got a Sammy Sosa. Just knocked over my top loader, so looks like we're gonna have a relic in here and the Sammy Sosa blue hollow is on the front, the variation that has the um, percentages. Ooh, we got an Unleashed. Really neat here. Obviously Donruss has a lot of cool inserts, Unleashed being one of them. Very nice. I think Unleashed or Whammy might be my favorite. Obviously, Whammy are case hits. Nice Chris Bryant. 107 out of 9.99. You got a bear, got a snake, got a lion. Pretty sweet card there. Got, mm, maybe we don't have a relic here. Just was thick because of the Unleashed and we had a lot of backwards cards. Kevin Gosman, Nolan Arenado, Shane Bieber, Paul Canerco, Ken Griffin Jr. You got a Diamond King of Whit Merrifield. Good start. Really happy with that Unleashed Chris Bryant. Cards are every which way, it seems. Here's a Glaber, Salvi Perez, Aaron Judge, Andy Pettit, Leo Tavares, rated rookie. Put that there. We got a Yadier. Nice. Ooh, very nice here. We got a Blue, the Rookies of Alec Bohm. That is an awesome card. Numbered 185 at 249. Color all over the place of a great rookie. Probably the best rookie in the class, in my opinion. And nice, a Dylan Carlson. Uh, blue hollow so very good rookie card pack there with the bohm and the carlson two of the better name rookies bohm's definitely my favorite rookie in the entire class i would say but yeah that was a great pack want to get some rated rookie color got rookies there here's aaron nola chris paddock babe ruth christian javier rated rookie add him to the pile got a bigfoot name variation of 
Lucas Giolito. Didn't know that was his nickname. Here is the uh, Liberty card. Those come one per. I got one Liberty and four Independents. Got the Statue of Liberty there. Not numbered of Mr. Lapara, Jose Ramirez. We got a Alex Verdugo out of 2021 and a Martin Perez. Blue Hollow, Martin Perez. Looking forward to Perez Day coming back to Fenway Park this year. Solid starter for the Red Sox. All right, we got Blake Snell, Nelson Cruz, Denison Lamette, Troy Gloss, Trevor Bauer, Diamond Kings. Nice rookie, great rookie of Jazz. Chisholm, you like Jazz? And we have our first autograph. Not a bad one. A rookie, David Peterson, the New York Mets pitcher. Is a oops, Miguel Tejada is our hollow. Nice David Peterson. Obviously not a huge name. It is a pitcher, but he had a really good year last year with the Mets. You look at his numbers, he was probably their second best pitcher behind DeGrom. Uh, he'll probably be their five to start this year, I'm thinking. Uh, well, uh, definitely in there because Carlos Carrasco is unfortunately going to not be ready for opening day, it looks like. But David Peterson, definitely a name to look out for in that Mets rotation. First round pick out of 2017 out of the University of Oregon. Really like him a ton, so I'm not mad with that hit. Obviously not a ton of value, but definitely one of the rookies I like that not too many people actually know about. All right, should still see one more autograph and a relic. Got Zach Wheeler, Verdugo, Jose Altuve, Lance Berkman, Casey Mize, rated rookie. That's pretty nice. First overall pick in 2018. Here's a Chris Bryant variation, says the Windy City. Nice, Joe Adele Red out of 2021. A rated rookie red. Doing so far, uh, so good so far with the parallels and the rated rookies. We had a Carlson and Adele. I mean, obviously, a gold out of 2021 in um, tops for Joe Adele would be a very big card. Doesn't go for as much here in the uh, Panini, but still super nice. These cards are everywhere. We got Josh Donaldson, Mike Soroka, Mike Clevenger, Jeff Bagwell, Matt Chapman, Luis Garcia, rated rookie. Nice young prospect for the Nationals, Clayton Kershaw out of 2021. And our blue hollow is a Diamond Kings of Cattell Marte. 24 packs here, just like tops, uh, but they had 14 cards per pack. There's Charlie Blackman, Chris Bryant, Max Scherzer, Vlad, Diamond Kings of Jose, Ramirez, nice Clark Schmidt rated rookie, the Yankees top prospect. There's a Xander Red out of 2021 and a Reese Blue Hollow. This one feels thick like it might be our relic, but I have been fooled before. Nope, definitely something thick in there. All right, we got Outer Pool Host, Xander Bogarts, Max Freed, Jason Giambi, Mike Trout, Diamond Kings Jack Flaherty. Here's a Garrett Cole. Yeah, just a basic relic, nothing too exciting there, the 1987 design. But that is one of our hits. And there's a Nolan Ryan Blue Hollow. Got a Diamond King of Starling Marte. Ooh, we got a nice card coming up. JT Realmuto, Kwon Young Kim, Mike Trout, Greg Maddox, Bam Bam. Who is Bam Bam? Is that Brandon Lau, Nate Lau? Brandon Lau. Didn't know that his nickname was Bam Bam. Um, Diamond Kings of Pete Alonso. Ooh, nice. A Red Unleashed out of 149. Cody Bellinger. Very sweet card there. Put it there with the Bryant and a Diamond Kings Blue Hollow of Starling Marte. Really like those Unleashed pair, uh, inserts. They might be my favorite ones, as I said. I'd like to get, well, we got a Rookies insert too. You know, there's the Elite Series, among others. We got Donovan Solano, Corbin Burns, Eugenio Suarez, Barry Larkin, Davey Garcia is our rated rookie. Another rated rookie at Tristan McKenzie. We got out of 2021, Rod Carew, and a Tyler Glass now Blue Hollow. Yeah, only got one out of 2021 in my entire Topps Hobby Box compared to however many red we found here. So that just shows how Topps was so overprinted this year, which isn't a bad thing because it made it easy to find. We're going to have a nice insert coming up here. Javi Baez, Kyle Hendricks, Pete Alonzo, Mark McGuire, Juan Soto, Diamond Kings, Luis Patino is our rookie. And we got a highlights card of Will Smith that is numbered to 999. Five hits in a postseason game. Pretty sweet there. Just put that off to the side. And we got a Blue Hollow nickname variation of Mike Yastrzemski. Yaz. Keep it going here. We got Chris Bassett, Joey Votto, Juan Soto, Jim Tomey, Kess Daddy. Add that to our nicknames. Tim Anderson, Diamond Kings. Nice Patrick Corbin, Red. And a Trey Turner, Blue. All right. Keep it going. Should still have one more autograph. Um, something backwards here. Looks like our autograph. Hugh Darvish, Rafi Devers, Bryce Harper, Sammy Sosa. We got a 
14 time all-star of A-Rod, Vlad Jr. Our autograph is KR. Keeper Ruiz, not bad. So we got two solid rookies. Not the uh, the cream of the crop, but two respectable mid-tier rookies. There's a Babe Ruth hollow. You know, David Peterson and Keeper Ruiz. Not bad names. Obviously, Keeper, he's actually a top 100 prospect. He might be the Dodgers' number one prospect at this point. Him and Josiah Gray, I think, are the only two top 100 prospects left. Really interesting what happens with Keeper, considering they have Will Smith, like we saw there with that highlights card. That's a pretty nice one. So uh, I'm not mad at any of my hits. Nothing big money that I'll probably get my, my money back. But um, some solid ones, guys I didn't have autographs of before, so nice additions to the collection. A lot of fun inserts as well. George Springer, Nick Ahmed, went to UConn, David Fletcher, Miguel Tejada, Bryce Harper, Josh Bell. Here's one of our Liberties, or not, yeah, these are, no, these are the Independents. First one of that, Mookie Betts. And there's a Blue Hall of Ian Happ. I think we're supposed to get four of those. That was only the first one. There's a Yelich Blue. Pablo Sandoval, Walker Bueller, Christian Yelich, George Brett, Clayton Kershaw, Miguel Cabrera, nice Vladdy Jr. out of 2021. And there's that Yelly. Still a good amount of packs to go. Maybe we can get another sweet insert, even though we got all our hits already. These are a little bit better opening for your typical Panini cards. DJ LeMahieu, Whit Merrifield, Jordan second year, Bartolo. Nice. Alex Killer. Kirillov, um, rated rookie. He obviously, he didn't have a card in Series 1. Him, Key Brian Hayes, Clark Schmidt, Jake Cronenworth, among others, look to have their cards in Series 2. We got Chef G, didn't know that was Garrett Cole's nickname. We got the nickname card and then the same card out of 2021 and a Paul Canerco Blue Hollow. Pretty nice there. There's that Kieber Ruiz again. Nice rated rookie blue. Put that right there. Flip it around for Manny Machado, the Dodgers. Big money third baseman, Trent Grisham, second year. Lance Lynn in his White Sox uniform already. Gary Carter, Paul Martar, Bryce. Ooh, and we got a presidential out of 50. Keith Hernandez. Very nice low parallel there of one of the best Mets of all times and a hilarious, possibly my favorite color, color commentator in the entire game of baseball. Tim, Gary, and Ron are probably my favorite broadcast booth. There's a Dustin May, Brian Anderson, Vlad Jr., Ryan Sandberg, Sam Huff rated rookie. Nice Bo Bichette. Oh, once again, we got back to back of the same cards, but a parallel. These are the variations that says the six, of course, that being Toronto. Put that with our Mookie and a Starling Marte, Blue Hollow. Running low on packs here. We did get a super nice out of 50 of Keith Hernandez. The uh, Alec Bohm might be my favorite card overall, though. Packs are kind of flimsy. Here we are. We're going to have one of those more Independence Day. Brennan Belt, Cody B, Mookie Betts, Jonathan Papapon. Nice rated rookie, Andres Jimenez. He is killing it in spring training. Looks to be pretty good for the Indians. There's Fernando Tatis with that Slam Diego variation. Jonathan Papelbon, There's a name I haven't heard in a while. And Jacob deGrom, who is also killing it in spring training and hitting well over 100 miles an hour. Love to see it. All right, let's get a cool insert. Let's get a whammy here to end it. Sonny Gray, Jose Ramirez, Herman Marquez, Oral Hershizer, Jim Tomey nickname, the Fominator. We got an Anthony Rizzo Diamond King, Bo Jackson out of 2021, and the Cy Young winner, and the new big money boy for the Dodgers is our Blue Hollow, Trevor Bauer. Three packs left. Byron Buxton on the back. We got Didi Gregorius, Squirrel Jeff McNeil, Tim Anderson, Ichiro, there's a stat parallel for Roger Clemens, Nelson Cruz. Here's our last Independence Day of Tyler Glass now in a blue of Byron Buxton. Two left. Really enjoyed this. Uh, I don't know if I got my value back completely, but I think it's definitely a good set where you definitely have the ability to get your value back. Isaiah Kiner for Leffa, nice. Luis Robert, second year. Shohei, Frank Thomas, Tyler Stevenson, Josh Donaldson. The mini apple didn't know minneapolis was called that uh colton wong out of 88 one of those um stat parallels so because he has 88 stolen bases that card is numbered out of 88 just throw that there and the bank anthony santander so nice low number parallel there of colton wong silver hollow foil and our last pack will have Noah Syndergaard, John Means, Paul Goldschmidt, Pedro Martinez, Rafi Devers. Nate Pearson rated rookie is solid. Dylan Bundy out of 2021. And we will end it with the Sheriff, Chris Paddock. All right, so not a bad box. Not anything insane, but so much color and numbered stuff, which is why I got into this 
you know, I could honestly see myself picking up a second hobby box of this. I really enjoyed it. I would like to put the whole set together. I know, I know there's no licensing, so it doesn't have a ton of value, but there's just so much fun stuff to go through. And then just putting a whole base set. We got a huge stack of base cards here. God, good stack of rated rookies here. Didn't have anyone huge for base. We got some really nice cards. Um, in terms of rated rookies for our reds out of 2021s, I think we just had the Joe Adele, but that's a pretty sweet one there. We got so many other parallels. We got our Independence Days, which included Mookie Betts and this nice Bo Bichette, the six. And then we got our one Liberty, which is Jose Ramirez. We got a out of 88, Colton Wong. We got an out of 50 of Keith Hernandez. We got uh, four different inserts. I can pick them up here. The best being this Unleashed Cody Bellinger out of 149, out of 90, out of 249, we got a blue, the rookies of Alec Bohm, one of the better cards, probably the most valuable card we got here. A Chris Bryant Unleashed out of 999, and a Will Smith Highlights out of 999. And then we got our two autographs, two solid rookies, no one insane, but Kieber Ruiz and David Peterson. I like them both. I think those were good. And we got our one relic of Garrett Cole. So that'll do it for Donruss for now. Nothing insane, but really fun. So much color. Uh, I don't know if this, this much color comes in retail, but I do hope to pick up some blasters of Donruss or some fat packs just to finish out my set. If I don't pick up another hobby box, which I can see myself doing, because I really like some of these inserts. I really like to get a, a chance at getting some of the other rookies or maybe even the chance of the rare case hit the whammy, but a lot of fun. Definitely like, recommend Donruss. Obviously, opening day got pushed back. Heritage isn't out till March 26th. So there's a little bit of time here before the next base release. Except Inception comes out next week, but might not be willing to drop the bag on that for $150 for only seven cards, especially when you can get $196 for less than that, even though it's unlicensed. I enjoyed it. So thank you for watching. Be sure to hit that like and that subscribe button if you enjoyed what you saw. I sure did. It was a lot of fun. Also, follow my Instagram down in the description box below. I would greatly appreciate it. Have a good weekend, everybody. Thank you, and I look forward to the next time.